Okay everyone, today we're going to be seeing if a spider can get caught in its own web. And then I'm going to be checking if a different kind of spider can get caught in another spider's web. Okay, so I have here two spiders that I caught in my house. And rather than smashing them, I thought I'd give them a second chance if they help me with my experiment today. So I had them build me a web in these cups here. And I'm gonna see if they can get stuck in their own web. And then at the end of the experiment, I'll let them go for helping me. Okay, so I have two different spiders here. This is the first one that I have. This one is actually really fast. So I'm not actually sure what kind of spider this is. If there's any experts in the comments section, let me know what kind of spider you think this is. So this one has already built his web. It's been one day now. It's a different kind of spider than the one in the purple glass. Originally, I thought this one was a jumping spider, but I'm not quite sure now. So again, if anybody knows what kind of spider this is, let me know in the comments section. You might be able to tell by its web, so it's built kind of a funnel web. You can kind of see it, you can kind of see it inside of its funnel there. So I've kept both of these guys in the cup for about a day now. If you ever want to keep a spider as a pet, make sure you poke air holes for them and also make sure you give them water. So I've been putting water in there. You can kind of just spritz it on the side and they'll get the water that way. And you can also feed them other insects. I haven't fed them yet, but they can go a long time without eating. So if you're just planning on keeping them just a few days, you probably don't need to feed them. So this is the one I'm gonna do the experiment on first. You can see my tape on the top there. I was poking air holes and this one got a little too big, so I got scared and put tape over it. So you can see it's built its web kind of stuck to the top of the saran wrap and on the side of the cup. So what I wanna do is try to get the spider and see if I can place him in his web kind of upside down and see if he actually gets stuck in his web or he's able to get away. Okay, I'm really nervous about this. I have a bad feeling that this is going to go wrong and this spider is going to end up escaping. The first problem is that his spider web is stuck to the top of the saran wrap here. So I'm going to try to keep it intact but still get the spider. Okay, here we go. Okay, I have it hooked on the web. Okay, it's caught in its web. Okay, it seems to have no problem in its web here. So this is its own web that I'm wrapping around it. Interesting, it seems to not be sticky at all. So look how much it's sticking to my tweezers here. I just touch it to it and it sticks to it. But when I put it on the spider, it doesn't do anything. This is so weird. It can't get stuck in its own web. Try to wrap it around it. Oh, this is scary. See how strong it is. I can lift the whole saran wrap by the web. But when I try to get it to stick to the spider, it doesn't stick at all. So you can see this sticky web on top of it. The spider is under it. It's trying to push through the web. It can't go that way. So it's in a net of web right now. Let's see if it, whoa, it just went right through it. Holy cow. Oh no, it's gonna get away. So it seems unfazed by this web. Even though the web is really sticky, like I can just put my tweezers on it and it just sticks to it. But for some reason it doesn't stick to the spider at all. So it seems as though this spider cannot get caught in its own web. Even if I completely wrap it in its own web. So again, I have this netting around it right there. 
See, it's completely wrapped in it. It just slides right out. No matter what I do. See, it totally just wrapped up its own web and climbed back up it. <laughs> Okay, let's put them back in here real quick. So you can see that it's a very fine web. Even if I just touch it, see how it just sticks to my finger? It just sticks to me. So a simple touch and it sticks to me. It's actually really strong too. All right, so this is really interesting. So no matter what I did, I could not get that web to stick to the spider. But if I just touch it with my finger, the web just sticks to my finger. So I actually thought if I were to wrap it around the spider like I did, it would for sure get caught in it, but it didn't at all. It just climbed right through it. It had no problem climbing around or just getting the web off of it. I mean, typically spiders build webs where not every part of the web is sticky, but just the part that they want to be sticky where they catch their prey. And so usually they'll avoid walking in those really sticky parts. But also recently scientists have discovered that the legs of spiders might have a specific chemical that prevents the glue in the web from sticking to them. But according to this, it could be covered in their whole body because I was putting it around its whole body above and below and it seemed to have no problem getting out of it. But now the question is, what about a different kind of spider? So if I use my other spider and put it in this web, will it still get caught in it? Let's find out. Okay, my spider web is right here. It's kind of hard to see. You can see me kind of lifting it up. So this is the other spider's web. I'm gonna put this spider in it. Okay, so you can see I have the web stretched over the spider. Let's see if it can get out of this. It's trapped underneath it. Ooh, it's getting fast. So it's seeming to have a little more trouble getting through the web. The other one just kind of pushed through it and got out. This one seems to get to the web and then stop. So this one looks on the web as more of a barrier than the one who owned the web. Interesting. Oh no, oh no, it's gone. Uh oh, <laughs> it just went under my table. Oh, great. Okay, this just got 10 times more scary. I don't know where it is now. Oh, great. It's gonna probably fall on my face. Oh, I see it. There it is. Okay, come on. Oh, there it is. No, 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 no. Oh, it just went in the crack. Well, that's the end of that. No getting it out of there. <laughs> I guess this one got to go free in my house again. Okay, so from what I could tell before the spider got away, so the one that didn't own the web it didn't really get caught in the web, but it did look on it as more of a barrier. It didn't try to just like push through it. It was kind of a foreign object to it. And so it just kind of huddled around it. When I nudged it closer, it just kind of huddled down. Whereas the spider that owned the web, this one here, it seemed to not care about the web at all. It, it, like if, if I put the web over it, it just kind of pushed through it and went through. So it must have known it was its own web and it could easily get through it. But the other spider didn't know what it was. It didn't know if it was a foreign object or what it was. So it knew it was some other spider's web or just some different thing that wasn't its own. Really interesting how they reacted to the web. So I do have some spider web left on my tweezers here. 
Let's see what this really fine spider web looks like under the microscope. Okay, so here's the spider web. You can see how fine it is. Not all spider web is this fine. It depends on what type of spider, what type of web. For example, here it is compared to my hair. Okay, there's my hair. And there's the spider web. It's so crazy how much thinner it is. And as promised, let's let the spider go that didn't get away. He can get let go outside. This one got let go in my house, so we'll see where this one ends up. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're free, little guy. Don't run back in my house. Oh, there it goes, dingling. Okay, there it goes. Good luck. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And head over to theactionlab.com to check out the Action Lab subscription box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.